Jimmy Kimmel. So, first of all, Robert Downey Jr., congratulations. He wins his first Oscars. But while he's winning his first Oscar, Rob, if you can go to Twitter, that uh, video is on my tweet. While he's winning his first Oscar, Jimmy Kimmel starts to joke, trying to be funny, and he says the following. Just listen to this, and I just want you to tell me. if you th- Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe my humor sucks. I didn't find anything funny about what the man said on how he changed his life on the night he was about to win his first Oscar. And here's what Kimmel says. Go ahead. And congratulations to Silly Ann's co-star, Robert Downey Jr., who is, this night is, this is the highest point of Robert Downey Jr.'s long and illustrious career. Well, one of the highest points. Um, but what a s- scumbag. Maybe it's funny. Robert I don't find it funny at all. No, it's Now he's not. playing it off. Yeah, he's being a professional. Was that too on the nose or is that a drug motion you made? Just keep going. Just like, keep going. Yeah, move on. But look at him. I mean, look at this guy. He's so handsome, so talented. He's won every award there is to win. Is that an acceptance speech in your pocket or do you just have a very rectangular penis? <laughs> like... He's acting. Is, he's, yeah. he's acting, meaning he can't stand any of the jokes that are being said. Well, what, what are your thoughts when you see something I, like first that? Of, first of all, I, I don't know who labeled Jimmy Kimmel a comedian. Wikipedia has him in there as a comedian. He is not a comedian. He's a hack leftist propagandist that just, by the way, is, and does anything about him say funny? Pat, anything. On the man show, they were just disgusting. Him and Adam Carolla, disgusting against women. And remember, the left is a professional at this. They could be racist. They could they could fat shame. Did you see the video, Rob, I just sent you? Of By the way, this is maybe the third or fourth time that from his, his past, Jimmy Kimmel has been, done blackface. He's been racist. He's fat shamed. He's disrespected women. Nothing happens to him because he's a Democrat. You get a, you get a golden ticket. I just sent it to you on Slack, Rob, this is, um, look, at, look, at, look at, this is Jimmy Kimmel on Comedy Central. Look at, look at, look at how, how is this not cancelable? That's not blackface cancel. Oprah. That's why I start every morning with a brisk aerobic workout. Look, but I can't he's fat alone. shaming women. Workouts are easier when you have a partner. And he's stomping on, on a Mexican girl. My maid, Marguerite. Yeah. Marguerite's soft brown stomach protects look. my knees and ankles from unnecessary wear and tear. Not too much longer, me so proud, yeah. okay? Shut up in Spanish. <laughs> 15 minutes a you day can stop is it, all you need. So, so here's the thing. Tasteless, you know. I've never seen that. By, by the way, he did Carl Malone. He did Blackface. That's if any Malone. other person did some shit like that, Pat, they're canceled. All he is is a mouthpiece for the left, just like Stephen Colbert and all these pushers. So let's let's play. Let's let's him. be him. Let's yeah. be him. Yeah. He's going to say, well, that's comedy, though. I got you guys talking about it. That's comedy, right? I won. You guys are talking about it. I won. So the, the, the part where this is, if you're going to tell that joke, you can't get upset at anybody calling your ass out. You just have to accept it. Why? Because when people bring up Karl Malone and Oprah Winfrey, I'm sure he's like, well, that was 20 years ago. That was 30 years ago. Why are you bringing something up like that? Well, RDJ changes life, man. And, and people love him. There's some actors and some people in life you root for. Literally, there's certain people you just naturally root for. It's in sports, it's in politics, it's in Hollywood, it's in comedy, it's in every space. You just root for that guy. Robert Downey Jr. was a guy, a list of my top five movies of his, with number one being Judge, I think number two was The End Game, number three I put as, I think, Only You, and then Iron Man, and I added one other movie too, I forget which one the fives are for me. I just love this guy, right? And maybe Jimmy Kimmel hates the fact that he doesn't have that kind of love, that, uh, you know, Robert Downey Jr. gets. Maybe his envious is like, I'm more famous and I'm doing this and I'm doing that, but how come people don't love me like the way they love Robert Downey Jr.? I don't know what it is. Uh, uh, this is why he's a hypocrite because he can bring up Robert Downey's uh, drug past 20 years ago. Yeah. But you can't talk about what he did 20 years ago. That's what exactly. That great, is the most ironic part. Great point. And, and, and here's the thing, though. Uh, you know, like the odds of what Robert, if you guys don't know Robert Downey Jr.'s story of the drugs and everything, the guy shouldn't even be alive, shouldn't have a career. And look at, he can't, dude, you want to talk about a phoenix? This guy came out of the ashes. He's up there. This is his night. He's the favorite to win. And you're going to say some stupid, 
ignorant shit like that in front of his wife, in front of the world. He played it off cool, but it's like, dude, uh, like enough is enough with these hack, embarrassing freaking moments. Yeah. By the way, he opened when he was on stage. Uh, he read Trump's tweet about him being yeah, of the worst host. And why? By the way, you know what's crazy? That was the funniest <laughs> moment of the night. Gotta, and it wasn't that he said it. It was what Trump said about his hack, unfunny act. It got a... Uh, Standing ovation. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Obviously, Cuomo is like best friends with Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. Right? I mean, he's FaceTimed into the podcast before. During the UFC fight, I'm sitting with Cuomo. Who, uh, Tom, you were there. Robert Downey Jr. FaceTimes us during the fight. We're like, <clears throat> people behind us are literally like, Holy is that Robert Downey? <laughs> That's crazy. Like, everyone's going crazy. Like, in our little section, it wasn't crazy. Um, I haven't watched the Oscars in, I don't even Decades. Yeah. But because of Robert Downey Jr., you because of Cuomo, win. I wanted to see if he was going to win or not. Yeah. By the way, Oppenheimer cleaned up. Mm -hmm. He won Best Supporting Actor for Oppenheimer. They won Best Actor, Best Picture, Best Supporting Actor. The, the list goes on. I think they won, I don't know, almost 10 awards, I want to say. But he got up on stage. This is what, you know, he can, you got to appreciate somebody that can poke fun at themselves. Mm -hmm. Right. So he said, uh, I would like to thank my terrible childhood and the Academy in that order. Yeah. And, I, and shout out to the insurance guys out there because he goes, then I would also like to thank my talent agent for actually getting me insured. And he goes, thanks, bro. <laughs> so, you know, he's just I a very likable guy. I, I guarantee you he goes home that night. His phone blows up and they say WTF. What was that all about? By I guarantee you that's mm -hmm. what people texted him yeah. yep. to say that about him. And but he's love. And, and God bless you. You know what people say? Mm -hmm. He that was written. Bless. God bless you, PBD. He goes, I, that was written. Do you guys know that he read that Trump tweet? He told mm -hmm. them, I'm gonna go up there and read it. And they said no. And he said, Yes, I am. So he chose <laughs> really? to say this stupid ass joke. Oh, they well, told him not, they to, read told him not to read the Trump thing and he did it. So that so when those, people uh, say Slack this I is written, you? no, no. He can do you, say whatever. Do you he have wants. the Trump tweet that he read? Can you can you pull that up if he did well, the read Oscars. it? Yeah. Is this the I one, Rob? Clip of him reading it if you want to play that. How long is it two minutes? Oh no, no, no we're not it's like thirty that. seconds. Do you have the Yeah, I fast forwarded it to right here. Okay, go ahead. Play the clip. Go ahead. Wondering if I could share it with you. I just got a review and um has there ever been a worse host than Jimmy Kimmel at the Oscars? Fact. His opening was that of a less than average person trying too hard to be something which he is not and never can be. Fact. Get rid of Kimmel and perhaps replace him with another washed up but cheap ABC talent, George Sloppinopoulos. <laughs> he would make everybody on stage look bigger, stronger, and more glamorous. Blah, blah, blah. Make America great again. <laughs> wow. By the way, how funny. Stop Anopolopolis. Yeah. Slop Anopolis. <laughs> Stop Anopolis. And Rob, if you want to pull you, up what I sent you, you know, on Slack, and, look at the, the people are aware of how bipartisan, not that one, the first one right above that. Yeah. Jimmy Kimmel, number one. What does it say here, scumbag. Rob Punchin? Who. Like, can you, yeah, can you zoom in? Scroll up. Percent of Americans who the late night host leans politically oh, wow. liberal. Dude. Jimmy Kimmel's number one. Stephen McColbert right next wow. to him. This is Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy, by the way, Jimmy, Jimmy Fallon is America. the only one that I could even tolerate. But look at the unfunny hacks on this list. Keep yeah. going. Well, Keep going. What's Go interesting is only one of them is actually a political show. Bill Maher, and he's not even right. in the top three. He's not That's interesting. So what does that say to you? Look at, look at, I mean, Conan I could deal right. with. Yeah. Samantha B. John, Oliver. John Oliver's another hack. And then if you go to the next thing that I sent you, it's very interesting. This John is Oliver the, does some real good, good yeah. things sometimes. What he did about I, Boeing, if we cover that, I, we could talk about that. He does not hold back. I mean, obviously, he's the, not uh, a Trump guy. Slide. I can't stand him, but yeah, he's got some And this is the reason that Greg Gutfeld, who's not a comedian, I don't know if you can see it. Great graphic, Adam. Yeah, so my bad. What is this, Nintendo 1980? There it is. <laughs> the hell to pick with the Street Fighter? <laughs> it's Blanca about to fight Ryu. What Blame the hell is that? It looks like that. <laughs> oh my God. How are you good? This is why Gutfeld is number one because oh, no, a no. lot of people think that it's politically liberal. Too Adam, at 2 a.m. last night, did this look in focus to you? I almost like it must be my eyes are <laughs> going. Uh, but I, I just I think it was, don't I, blame it on the technology. But I just think I think Kimmel is classless, tasteless. He you know if if he was a Republican, he would have been canceled ten years ago. You know, 100%. The, the hysterical well, thing about Hollywood is for all of their liberal unity that they claim to have, there is not mm -hmm. a more backbiting, cynical, insecure world than that of Hollywood talent. They are jealous of each other. They are cynical about each other. And you get a talent agent alone and get a couple glasses of wine in them, and they'll give you war stories. 
stories about how actresses Tom, get so snippy with each other. You get a talent agent alone with a no, no, no. I'm saying wine. He's gonna no, ask no, no. Him to take you get people talking. Let me like, put it this way: you go to a <laughs> you go to a cocktail party in Hollywood, <laughs> and you glass of wine. you know what I mean. You go to a cocktail party in Hollywood, they married, and at about eleven o'clock, you get an agent with a buzz starts talking, and they'll Very, start telling uh, you things. Since we're speaking and of the awkward, I'll tell I'm, you, I'm telling you, Kimmel I'm not is, having a couple glass of wine. I'm not drinking one. No, no, no. Touch it. I think everybody knows what I mean. Touch it. But Kimmel is a cynical, gonna do it. jealous it. Man. man. This is what we're going to do. Anybody that places an order of, let's say, $50 or more, minimum one future looks bright hat, because I want a million people this year wearing this gear. There were so many people in the arena independently wearing the future looks bright gear, mm -hmm. and it's so confusing for people who are pessimistic when they see somebody say the future looks bright. But this is what I'm going to do. Anybody that places an order of, uh, uh, you know, $50 or more, okay, between now and Thursday, but specifically anyone that places an order, every for every $50 you place an order, you get one ticket in the drawing, and I'm going to get, I don't know, I'm going to get four tickets to the next UFC fight. Wow. Okay, I don't even know where the next UFC fight UFC is. UFC 300. And I'm going to give two people two UFC tickets. Rob, if you can give me those. Sam, just bring it to me. Just bring it to me. It's okay. And here's what we got. These are the things that we have right now for International Women's Day. We just got these pink. Uh, 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 oh, look at that. Yeah, pink future looks bright hats that are here. Samuel, are these on the site? So Rob hats, let's make sure they're on the site. We got these two future looks uh, bright uh, women's hat, pink, to choose from. And then Love we got that. the new navy blue. Navy blue, if you're like a police officer, we got the new navy blue future looks bright. Let's make sure. And these are on the site. Rob, can you show these things being on the site? You place the order of the hats, oh, that blue is sick. $50 or more. For every $50, we're going to do a drawing, and on Thursday, I'm giving away mm -hmm. four UFC tickets. That, that's the yeah. one, right? The navy blue. And then, uh, Samuel, I don't know if I see the pink one on there, so if you can make sure that gets on there as well. But uh, that's what we're going to do. Make sure you place your order. Okay. It's uh, April 13th, Las Vegas. Perfect. UFC there you go. April 13th, month. Las Vegas. I'm going to give away four tickets. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.